Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to get the Crisis Photoreal 4 mod for Crisis on the PC. What you first want to do is open up your web browser, Firefox, Google Chrome, or Internet Explorer is fine. Then you go to a website called Gamefront. Since I've already downloaded this before, I already have the page in my address bar. If you don't, go ahead and grab my URL and type it in your address bar and you should come up with this page. What you want to do is click download now. It shouldn't take that long for the download to start, if not go ahead and click right here. Okay, there we go. Mine's already popped up. What you want to do is save the file and then wait for it to download. It shouldn't take too long considering this is a pretty small fire since, file since it's been RARD. What RARD does is it compresses a big file into a small one. And after it's done, what you want to do is right click on it after it's done scanning for viruses. Right click, open containing folder, and you should see. Oh, have a second one since I've already downloaded it. Alright, you should have PhotoReal 4. What you want to do is right click and extract here. After it's done, you should see a new program file. Then you can go ahead and close your internet browser because you won't be needing it anymore. What you want to do is go to my computer, local disk C, program files, and depending on if you installed it through Steam or just the regular Crisis disk, you should see either EA, as you see right here, or Crisis. But since I installed it through Steam, I'm going to scroll down and go to Steam. After that, I want to go to my Steam apps, Common, and then Crisis. After you go to Crisis, you should see all of these files. Go ahead and click on the game, and then Levels. After you come up to this page, you should see Ascension, Core, Fleet, Harbor, and Ice. And what you want to do is go to your downloads folder or wherever you download the file to, and then grab the PhotoReal 4 file and drag it into the levels. Since, I already done, since I've already done this, it's asking me if I want to move and replace. I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we go. After it's done, you should see PhotoReal 4 with all of your other levels. Now what you want to do is open up the game. Alright, now that we've launched our Crisis game, what you want to do is click the little Tilly or Tide, I don't know what it's called, the little squiggly line on your keyboard and it should pop up the console command what you want to do is go type in con underscore restricted and then zero what this does is it takes away any restrictions it lets you add a little bit of cheats god mode stuff like that just to mess around next what I do is I type in sys underscore AI and then set it to zero what this does is it makes it so the AI is unresponsive, and which means they don't attack you, they don't look at you, or they don't do anything to bother your time. Now, to launch the map. To launch the map, you type in map, and then photo real IV, which stands for 4. And it should start to load the map. It, should take, it will take a couple of seconds considering the map is loading, and games usually take up load time. Ignore the console command, it should go away as soon as the game starts up. Ignore any errors that pop up, it's going to work. Now just press any key to continue. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, we've launched our map. Alright, after all the textures are done rendering, there we go. We are now in our photoreal map. Okay, go ahead and get in the boat. I'm not the best driver, so bear with me here and let me get out of this cave. As you guys can tell, the water looks amazing. And the little leaves blowing your face is just great. This game is, already, is still one of the best looking games on the PC and overall in any console. Well, but then again, we all know that um, PC is a little bit more superior to console considering that the graphics are usually updated every six months. Well, the graphics cards. Alright, now as you guys can see, we're in the map and we can just go ahead and explore. There's dust particles, there's leaves, and then look at that water. The water just looks amazing. Let's go have Let's go first one. As you guys can see, when we're underwater, we can swim in crisis. Well, you probably already know that if you already have the game. You can go ahead and swim. The textures of the water look great. The rock looks great. And the reflections are pretty awesome if you ask me. Alright, but Fort Real isn't really a campaign map, you can just go ahead and explore. What this does is it lets you explore a whole bunch of different scenarios and lets you see how strong your computer is, considering Crisis is still one of the most CPU intensive and graphic card intensive games out there. Let's go mess with some AI. Oh, time to speed this up. Alright, since we did that little cheat code in the console command, you guys can tell the, the AI isn't attacking me or anything. So we can go ahead and shoot them, do what we want, and we should be alright. You can see the explosion and then the physics knocking down people and then blowing up buildings is just awesome. Alright, this guy's not dead. Let's go ahead and grab him. As you guys can tell, the texture on this guy's face is really good. And the waves rippling in the background just look amazing to me. Like I said, this game is pretty amazing. Alright, time want to go for a swim? Go ahead and go for a swim. There you go. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching my video on how to install Photoreal 4 into your Crisis game. 
I'm going to just walk around a little bit and un leave this uncommentated and let you guys enjoy the scenery of the map. Alright, later. Mm -hmm.